Understanding Healthy Relationships is a collection of five lessons for grades seven and eight that focus on helping students create and maintain positive relationships in their lives. Healthy relationships are at the core of developing and maintaining mental health, building caring environments, and increasing well being. These lessons use a student directed approach and follow the four steps of the experiential learning process which include investigating and learning, action planning, taking action, and reflecting and celebrating. The lessons use research and evidence-based tools, lessons and activities to inspire change and learning. The lesson package also has a slide deck you can use to help engage your students and easily navigate you through each lesson. Before I review the lessons, please know that while we suggest pacing times for each lesson, you can absolutely chunk the lessons up or narrow them down as needed to meet the needs of your classroom. Lesson one, the many forms of relationships, introduces students to different types of relationships and what to expect and how to interact. You will activate students' background knowledge of relationships and have them look at their own different types of relationships and the qualities each type has and how relationships change over time. Then students will examine the difference between healthy and unhealthy relationships. For this lesson, we recommend you dedicate 120 minutes, but knowing that many teachers don't have that kind of block of time, you can always break the activities into two or three lessons. Lesson two is communicating core values and it's meant for students to learn how to communicate with others, learn what their values are, and understand difficult relationships. You'll begin with defining different styles of communication, connecting that with lesson one about relationships, and then having the students identify their core values. The students will also engage in role-playing, so here you will want to make sure you set up clear expectations and monitor the content of their scripts. Finally, there will be a discussion about relationship violence, which can be a very tough conversation. There are resources in the lesson package as well as on the Education Plus website to help you navigate these conversations. For this lesson, we recommend dedicating 90 minutes and you may need sticky notes in three different colors and Blackline Masters two and six. Blackline Master 6 is an important tool to guide students to having a safety plan to escape an abusive relationship and can be a practical way of being prepared and accessing the right supports. Students will also be watching a video which we recommend you preview ahead of time. Lesson 3 is setting up healthy boundaries and is about understanding what personal boundaries are and how to establish them. Some students may not be comfortable sharing personal experiences, while others may tend to overshare. So you will need to guide this discussion knowing your students in your class. Students will be creating videos about establishing boundaries. Again, knowing your class, you will need to set up guidelines and preview the scripts while students are creating the videos. Having students practice responses for when boundaries are broken helps students feel comfortable when this situation arises. So this is an important part of the lesson and should be modeled first. It can be a valuable tool practiced throughout the year and tying into different parts of your curriculum. For this lesson, we recommend dedicating 75 minutes, but you can always split the lessons up into two lessons and one of those lessons can be creating the videos while the other is watching the videos. You will need a copy of Blackline Master 3 for each student and be sure to allow time for students to work with video creating softwares or apps if they have not done so before. Lesson four is dealing with rejection and explores rejection in different roles in relationships and their impact. This can be a sensitive topic there are additional resources in the lesson package as well as on the Education Plus website that can help you navigate through this topic. The students will again be role-playing, which is a great way for them to express themselves in a creative manner. As recommended earlier, it's important to set up the expectations for the content and how the students provide feedback on each other's performances. 
For this lesson, we also recommend 75 minutes. It might be helpful though to divide the lesson into two parts, one for creating the role playing and a separate lesson to perform them. You may need copies of Blackline Master 4 for the students to plan their role playing script. And finally, lesson five is understanding healthy relationships and it ties together all of the discussion topics from the past lessons. The goal is for students to understand relationships, their impact, their approach, and their value. Students will develop a plan to create awareness of healthy relationships within their school or community, whichever you see fit. Having a final celebration is a great way to show the positive side of healthy relationships. For this lesson, we also recommend 75 minutes, which, which can be broken into different time allotments for planning, carrying out the awareness raising, and in addition to whatever time is needed for any celebration you might wanna have. Materials also may vary depending on the plan your students create. For example, one suggestion is to create a PSA that focuses on healthy relationships. So if you choose this route, you will again need appropriate time and video materials to create this. You will also need copies of Blackline Master 5 for each student. We hope this video was a helpful overview for you with your planning. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to drop us a line at info at educationplus.org. We hope you enjoy bringing well-being to your students and found the discussions meaningful and informative.